Welcome back. Joining me now, Renita, and she has a special guest with her, Dr. Ted Fogarty. So good morning to you both. We're talking about hyperbaric chambers, and I honestly had heard of them, but had never really even seen one. And I, I got to see one this morning, talking a little bit yeah. before you got here. Mm -hmm. Tell me, first of all, go ahead and define what it is. Well, first of all, I want to say it's National Awareness for Traumatic Brain Injury for Winter Sports Month. Okay. And I mean, that's what kind of, when I thought of Dr. Fogarty right away, because he's a genius with head trauma and injury and the healing of that. Mm -hmm. and, and so it's time to bring awareness to these head conditions and what we can do about them. So... Dr. Ted Fogarty is absolutely the best. He's the chairman for the UND School of Medicine, and so he knows all about head trauma. So, right. and, and specifically, hyperbaric chamber, which, like you said, this is something brand new that a lot of people don't know yet about. So tell us about it. Well, thank you to both of you. Um, yeah, just in, I've had a, a really kind of a long career in uh, researching hyperbaric medicine through using imaging documentation of the changes that it can bring about in the brain. And... Um, so it's it's really it's really evolved over like the last 12 years into this we're kind of planting roots a little bit here in North Dakota with the help of uh, the, I, I like to call him the patron saint of hyperbaric medicine which is Gary Therrelson and uh, he has brought uh, one of my International Hyperbaric Medical Foundation colleagues and uh, board members Dr. Daphne Denham into Fargo to help deal with the uh, acute concussion crisis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so Dr. Denham and I got together a couple years ago and she showed me some of her work on acute concussion and um, it was just phenomenal what uh, the, a child's brain under acute concussion uh, can do to heal itself to help spur its own healing by being in a hyperbaric chamber for just a few hours. But that's what we need to do first is just define or let people know what hyperbaric, first of all, what does hyperbaric mean and what is a hyperbaric chamber? Yeah, so uh, my, co my colleague, Dr. Paul Harch, who is the original uh, founder of the International Hyperbaric Medical Foundation, uh, he's educated me over the years on how this really works. But um, when, you're, when you're in a simple pressure vessel and you increase the pressure, that increases the amount of dissolved oxygen in your bloodstream. Hmm. And from those of us who go skiing and are uh, you know going out to Red Lodge and in the opposite effect elevation. when you when you go in, up in elevation and you start to lose the amount of dissolved oxygen in your bloodstream it starts to impact your brain very acutely a lot of people have high altitude cerebral edema who go out to the Canadian Rockies and Lake Louise and you have you have this physiologic stress you when you're it. actually yeah. going up in ele elevation and losing pressure, losing atmospheric pressure on your body is actually a physiologic stress. And so going the other way is a physiologic benefit. All right. So and it does a few things. Like this is not just for concussions. They're seeing treatments for post-traumatic stress disorder, even Alzheimer's and dementia I'm reading, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll talk more about that okay. after the break. Awesome. So we'll be right back. You've all heard about the 70% off sale, the emergency liquidation, or we're over stock sale, and the list goes on. I'm Gene Zimmerman. And I'm Kim here at Zimmerman's Furniture. We don't have all the so-called sales. What we have is great selection and the lowest possible price every day. Come, Come in, in and, and see, see for yourself. yourself. And, and remember, Zimmerman's, Zimmerman's will always save you money. Looking for something fun and local to do? Then check out KFYR TV's community calendar on yournewsleader.com. Parades, craft fairs, pancake breakfast, you name it. From Bismarck to Bowbells, you'll find something fun to fill your weekend. Want to tell everyone about your event? Go to yournewsleader.com, find community, fill out a form, and we'll post it for you. Your local event planner is just one click away on KFYR TV's community calendar. Serious crashes involving large trucks happen almost every day. Trucking companies and their insurance carriers have a team of attorneys, investigators, and experts working to protect them immediately. You need a team that's ready to fight for you. Our attorneys have over 100 years of experience to help protect your interests in truck accident cases. Marion Williams Law Office, a history of helping people.
All right, welcome back. I'm visiting with Renita and with Dr. Ted Fogarty here. We're talking about brain injury and what is your interest? What drew you into this interest? You know, I have three boys and they play sports and they are rough and tough and I sit in the, the stand sometimes as a, a mother and I hear those helmets hit and I'm like, oh my gosh. I like, pray everybody's okay. Um, and my grandmother had Alzheimer's. So there's all this head, there's so many head injuries and trauma and dementia and Alzheimer's, much more than we saw you know, 50 years ago. And so that's really my passion and, and it sparked me. And I, I got to know Dr. Fogarty and I'm like, hyperbaric, like what is it? When I first met him, I'm like, is it like a tanning bed that you crawl into? Like, what does it look like? So we have a picture of it. Let's go ahead and show that. Okay, so that's on a football field. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so that's a three atmosphere uh, chamber that is actually mobile and could be literally deployed at every NFL stadium in the country right now. So wow. if, you, if you get a concussion and you go in there, does it heal it faster? Is that the deal? Yeah, absolutely. It's um, With Dr. Denham's work, we have teamed up with um, some of our UND colleagues, uh, Dmitry Poltvesky, who's a PhD researcher in um, psychology up at, in Grand Forks, and Dr. David Bieberdorf, who's a neurodevelopmental optometrist. And they have these eye tests that they've been using on the hockey team up there in Grand Forks for uh, quite a long time. They've been really publishing some of the best research in the last 10 years on this. Mm -hmm. And so they're, they're working in with Dr. Denham to prove that this is immediately changing the, the function of the eyes within an hour or two of the hyperbaric treatment. Can we show that image that we have of actually like the, the healing of the brain sure. of that little scan that we have? Because that is super cool. And then you can just briefly explain what is going on here from that. Sure. This is the global perspective that Dr. Harch and I have developed for a pet of an Alzheimer's patient, both before and then immediately after his 40 hours of uh, therapy for hyperbarics. And the green areas are areas that are low functioning and not functioning appropriately in Alzheimer's disease. So on the image on the left, you see a lot of green. And in the image on the right, you see a lot of red, which is that's the blood flow and the, and the energy metabolism is really picking up in that brain. Does the person then uh, exhibit those things? I mean, if you've got so, Alzheimer's, for instance. Yeah, so, so there is a, a bit of a correlation between these areas of the brain and what, what is impacting the, the Alzheimer's patient and cognition. And this particular patient, really, she uh, has been doing great after this therapy. Dr. Harch actually did this work in, in 2016, and we only just got it published just this month. It doesn't stop the disease. It doesn't stop the disease, but it, you know, like some of the medications that we use in, 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 in medicine, like Aricept and these other medications that are, they're rolling back the time clock. Mm -hmm. This, in my opinion, seems to be a way to kind of synergize with the rolling back of the time clock mm -hmm. and, and really make that even work better. Okay, so, so the question is, is how many sessions does it take in this hyperbaric chamber to roll back that time clock? Well, that's one of the things where our leading experts in the country and around the world who are the real gurus of, of hyperbaric medicine like Dr. Denham and Dr. Harch and, and Malcolm Hooper out in Australia, there's, these, there's this whole crew of international people who they really, they really are the kind of the... the uh, supercharger engineers of the cell and they they kind of know on a patient by patient basis what's best for each patient but okay. in general an acute concussion an acute injury it's one it's one to five hours of treatment and then when you have some of these long-term things like alzheimer's it can be up to 80 to 90 hours and dr harch is actually taking care of a, a young man named kurt allen and he was a, a veget he was in a semi-vegetative state after a traumatic brain injury and it took 90 hours but he's He's walking and talking in a normal guy. So wow. we are out of time, but I know people at home are going to want to know, okay, so where do I find this? Where, yeah. where do I go? So um, if you go to the IHMF.org, that's the website, um, and, but specifically in North Dakota here, we're working together with uh, the Dakota Medical Foundation for Giving Hearts Day, and our executive director out in Fargo, Melissa Seitz, has got us uh, into that envelope of all the really great things that go on with Giving Hearts Day. Mm -hmm. And so just go to the Dakota Medical Foundation okay. site, and you can look into what's going on both in Fargo and, and with the international crowd. Great. Well, thank you so All much right. for being Thanks. here. Protect, both of you. This, protect the skull and wear helmets if you're downhill skiing. We'll be back.